Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of What I Would Change. Today, we are going to be looking at Undertale. When I first played Undertale, I thought it was perfect, and don't get me wrong, I still think it's one of the best games ever, but playing through it a second time, I noticed a few things I'd probably change about it, which makes it a great candidate for this series. Without further ado, let's get started. The first change I'd make has to do with sparing enemies. When you play through the pacifist run, your goal is clearly not to fight enemies. It's actually the opposite. You're trying to befriend them. When you encounter a frogget in the ruins, for say, you select Act, then you can select to complement it or threaten it, and then you can spare it. And that's all good and dandy. But why have to repeat this process? Can't you become friends with all froggets after a single spare? Apparently not. I think it's repetitive to have to spare the same monsters the same way over and over again. I would change the sparing mechanic so that once you spare a certain type of monster, from then on, you don't have to repeat the process a million times. For that individual monster, at least. However, the only way to get gold in the pacifist route is by sparing enemies. Therefore, since there will be so few enemies to spare with this change, we'll need to make another change in order to make this work, because gold is needed to buy armor and items. Fortunately, I have two changes that could work. I would add side quests in the pacifist route. This game is so story driven it feels like you can never break away from it. Side quests would allow for the player to take a break from the main storyline for a little bit. The quest should be simple things like finding a monster's toy somewhere in Snowden or something silly like that. All these quests should reward the player with gold. Another change I would make would be allowing the player to sell items at any shop. The shop in Temi Village is the only one where you can sell at, and most people don't even know where Temi Village is, so players usually just drop the stuff they don't need. By changing the sparing mechanic and making these few changes to supplement for gold, I think you'd have a more enjoyable pacifist and or neutral route. Now, let's talk Genocide. I love the Genocide route, and really wouldn't change much. Grinding around each area until every monster has been slain is a lot of fun, and the two super bosses are awesome and a huge challenge. If I were to change anything about the Genocide route, I would make it so that at the end of the second Genocide route you complete, there would be another boss battle. Now, who this boss would be is really a toss-up. God Asgore, Gaster, or Kara are all viable options, and I would be perfectly happy with any of them. And finally, the last thing I'd change is pretty small. I'd add Metaton X to the pacifist ending. I think he deserves to be with everyone when it all goes down. I know his legs make a cameo telling Undyne and Alphys to kiss, but he deserves more in my opinion. I know he tries to kill you as a crazy robot the whole game, but once he reveals his X form, he actually becomes super likable. Well guys, that's it. Episode 2 of What I Would Change is complete. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to show your support if you want more. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and see you next time.